It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Stone Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Woot Stout. This beer is coming in at a massive 13% ABV. There's a look at the label. It's got a very Star Wars-y kind of look about it on the label there. It's by Drew Curtis, Will Wharton, yeah, Will Wheaton and Greg Kosh. Uh, Stone fucking Wheaton, Woot Stout, 13% ABV. And it's a beer brewed with Cocoa Pecans Wheat and Rye with one quarter aged in bourbon barrels. Doesn't that sound absolutely awesome? There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Look at the smoke on that opening. For a 13% ABV beer, look at that smoke. Looks awesome. Beer in the glass. Listen to that glug. Boom, look at that for a beer. A lovely cocoa tan colored head, three finger tan colored head. Nice levels of moving carbonation, they're slow moving. As, as you would expect from a, from a kind of a 13% ABV beer, there's a lot of malt that's been added to this beer. So the kind of carbonation's pushing and it's fighting its way through that kind of sludgy, engine oil style ale it smells good looks good smell it from here jet black beer let's get the aroma you get the cocoa you get the pecans it smells wonderful it's caramel vanilla you get the bourbon barrels that oakiness. It smells just crazy. Let's dive in. Cheers, guys. Oh. Stone the Crows, yes, yeah, Stone the Crows. Um, well, it's still happening. I'm, there's so many different flavors going on in this beer that I'm just standing here now, wondering where to start. Do I start with that wonderful pecan, that wonderful cocoa, the, the slight hint of vanilla? Do I start with the oak barrels? Do I start with that woodiness? Do I start with that lovely creamy velvety mouthfeel or do I just just keep spewing out flavours and, and, and orgasmic kind of mouthfeels that, that are coming to me right now? Right, go. The beer, first of all, is nicely carbonated. It's, it, it helps to push the beer around the inside of the mouth. There's lots of raisin going on, lots of vanilla, lots of fig. It's a super, super mouthfeel. That carbonation helps to push the beer around the inside of the mouth and it pushes it around on the, 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 your palate and your taste buds and then it just explodes like a, like a, a great big bomb in your mouth. It's like engine oil. It really is like engine oil. It looked like engine oil when I when I was kind of explaining it earlier with a slow moving carbonation. You could you could you could see the mouthfeel in the beer without even trying it. Look as I rock the beer back and forth. Look at that slow moving carbonation chasing that head up the glass. Thirteen percent. You would never believe it, not in a million years. The beer is so well put together. There's so many flavors in the beer that the alcohol is just hidden. It's hidden away there. It's nutty, it's pecan-y. It's fresh, it's, it's, you get your obvious, your obvious coffee, cocoa, caramel, bitter flavors. Pardon me. But Stone the Crows. I posted a picture of this on 
Instagram and Facebook before we come on here. And people were just saying, you're gonna love this Root Stout. You're really gonna love this Root Stout. And, and yeah, they're right. They are absolutely right. This is just one hell of a beer. I don't wanna put it down. I don't wanna put it down to talk to you about the collaboration. Um, who who's collaborated with this with this beer? I just wanna I just wanna stand here drinking it. But we'll quickly go into because it's for me it's a minor detail that it's a collaboration. I just wanna stand here drinking the beer, talking to you guys about the beer. Um, so we'll quickly go into it. Uh, Will Wheaton is an actor and a web celebrity. Uh, Greg Kosh is obviously Stone Brewing Company's CEO and co-founder, and Drew Curtis is fact.com creator of 2015 KY Goober National Candidate whatever that means so you've got three guys collaborating with Stone Brewing Company and, and that's as far as for me as I want to know about the collaboration I want to stand here now and I want to get back to this beer and I want to talk to you more about this beer because it's absolutely fantastic the Pekins the pecan on that taste there just just kind of floated over. It just kind of, I was I was looking for the flavour earlier and I couldn't quite find it. But then the second flavour it just just kind of came over naturally, slowly. But the, by the third flavour, you could it was like a skipping stone. You've thrown that stone across the pond, and it's just kind of skipping over the flavour. There, it's it's, it's first, it's middle, and it's last in the flavour profile. And it kind of hangs around. Um, it's not too sweet, it's not an overly sweet beer, it, it's just a really nice bitter whoop whoop stout. <laughs> okay, rating. That's right, Root Stout by Stone Brewing Company, 13% ABV, what a staggeringly good beer. It's a 10 out of 10 for a real old craft beer. Wicked, wicked beer, and worth the money I paid for it. I think we in Brewdog in Cardiff. Do you know what? I can't even remember what we paid for it. It was over ten pound a bottle, but it was a fantastic purchase. Um, it's one beer I looked for last year, uh, the Wood Stout Two. Couldn't get hold of that one. Um, it didn't hit Cardiff, but when I seen that in the fridge uh, just last week in Brewdog, I thought to myself, I have to have this beer. Um, I just love Imperial Stouts. So ten out of ten. Thank you all for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Cheers.